Grand rising, grand rising, powerful being. Shout out to you, shout out to you. Welcome to another Ed Talks Daily. Today I'm going to be talking about forgiving yourself out of depression and procrastination. Forgiving yourself out of it. Did you know that the emotions of shame and guilt can be holding you back? That might be the main cause of the perpetuation of your procrastination. And what I mean by that is sometimes we get depressed and or we procrastinate because we're not meeting a standard. And then we make certain decisions that get our bodies out of alignment, which keeps us in that cycle and it perpetuates in our life. So if you keep tapping into this episode of Ed Talks Daily, I'm going to talk about forgiving yourself out of procrastination and depression. All right. So guess what? You want to watch this. You want to tap in and you want to grow with me here. Let's get it. So what does it mean to forgive yourself so you can grow? Okay, standards are meant so that we can look in the mirror and we can make the changes that we need to make. Standards are not meant for us to keep beating ourselves up because it does not allow us to act in that standard. It only keeps us in the perpetuating cycle of beating ourselves up. So the main thing I've been talking about over and over is letting it go so you can grow. I'm going to share with you during this episode how what you're holding against yourself is what you're holding in you and that's what's causing the stagnation leading to the inflammation that is now causing the disease in your body. Okay, so I want to help you transform that today. And the way to do that is by forgiving yourself, acknowledging other things that you wanted to do, you could have done, you should have done, but you didn't do And it's saying, hey, listen, yeah, I could have done that. I should have done that. I didn't do it. But you know what? I'm not going to beat myself up for that, right? Because the moment we beat ourselves up, that does not really help with anything. Beating yourself up does not solve the issue. So what are some things that you wanted to accomplish this year that you feel as if you didn't get done yet? What are some things that you said, hey, this was on my goal this this year, but you didn't get it done. And you kind of like feeling really bad about that. What is somewhere you said you didn't want to come back this year and you got back there? Maybe you said, I'm never going to go back broke this year and you did. Maybe you said, I'm never going to go back eating like this this year and you did. Maybe you said, I'm never going to go back to that relationship and you did. A lot of times what we go back to feels like we're going against ourselves. This affects us in a negative way, which makes us feel bad, which causes us to give up which perpetuates the same cycle, and then we never get over it. Okay, so the moment we can let go, the moment we can let go of these things we're holding against ourselves, that will transform everything for you, okay? So here's what I mean. A lot of times the the stagnated ideas that we have, the emotional states that are housed in us can become so unbearable Because we've spent so much time ignoring it that what happens is it reaches a peak. And at that peak, it feels very unbearable, right? And when you reach reach a a peak of a stagnated energy, you feel stuck. That's because that energy, you feel like you reached a peak at it. And it's aligning with the current lunar, lunar cycle, which is... The full moon, the new lunar cycle starts tomorrow. So energies are going to be heightened. So around today, tomorrow, you might feel your energies heightened. Regardless of what type of energy it is, it's going to be heightened. So you may feel as if like, yo, all this energy of procrastination is unbearable because 
You're like, yo, I've been meaning to do this, but now you feel all of it in your body. You're like, man, I, and then you might try to act in the next couple of days on all of these things you've been meaning to do. But I'm letting, I'm letting you know, it is not necessarily at this peak state of your energy, do a release of forgiveness. This will allow you to act in the upcoming, un upcoming days. I'm talking about starting from the day after tomorrow, the day then, 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 then. So you want to release what you're holding against yourself today, tomorrow, right? In fact, I'd suggest this. Um, for those of you who engage in psychedelics, I definitely recommend psychedelics, right? That helps you with emotional release, okay? So you want to be able to forgive yourself for what you have not yet done in this season, last season, in this year. And you want to make a dedication that, you know what, I'm going to do it. So the moment we hold all of these things against ourselves, we have unbearing weight. And we carry this unbearing weight around and we call it depression. This unbearing weight of outstanding things that we feel like we need to do becomes un like we can't hold it in anymore because every day there is a pull between where you're at right now and what you need to do, what you could have done, what you should have done. And what that does to you is, here's what it does. It keeps pulling you out of the present into shame, which stunts your ability to act. When you get pulled out of the present into shame, this is a moment where you're sitting down. You want to work on something, but all of a sudden, a bunch of stuff pop up in your head about, man, okay, you could have been done that way. You didn't do that. It's like this. You want to call somebody, right? And you're about to call this person. A thousand thoughts came to your mind about, man, you ain't never call them, blah, blah, blah. Why you, you such a horrible friend, blah, blah, blah. And what that does is it obstructs the action. And it creates a new dialogue that is preventing you to act. Every single time that you start bashing yourself for what you did have done, what you could have done, what you should have done, is the time you're taken away from doing. So forgiveness is saying, I could have done it before, but I didn't. And that's okay. I'm choosing to do it now. This is the fundamental framework. And somebody's like, yeah, why are you telling? That seems so. I'm telling you, it is these little things that will cause big shifts. Because we don't even realize these things. This is why I do the podcast. Because I want you to realize certain things that are hidden underneath the subconscious, below the conscious level. So you might say, oh, I'm just procrastinating. No. You might just don't you might run be running away from the shame and guilt of it every time you step into it. So let's make this let's get into this session so we can allow ourselves to release it. So let me ask you a question. How many times did somebody say they were going to do something and they didn't do it in relation to you? But you said, you know what? It's OK. How many times did that happen in your life that somebody said, OK, I was going to do that, but they didn't do it? But you say, you know what? It's okay. You, it's all right. We're going to figure it out. You, you, I get it. You know, I, I get it. You're a human. You are busy. Shit happens. I understand. You know, I feel you. It's all right. Let's get to it. How many times have you done that? I'm going to say you probably did that sucker a whole lot. You, you, you probably forgave people that you probably didn't need to do. You see? Um, you said, somebody said too many. So, how many times are you doing that for yourself? Do that some more. Now, this is not necessarily giving your past not to act, but it's giving yourself grace to act when you realize you passed the chance. So, it is not you being light on you, but it's actually you being wiser to, so that you can act quicker. Here's what I mean. You may think being hard on yourself is going to help you act. This is what most people think. Let me have no space for me to forgive. Then I will have to do it because I'm going to feel so bad. Why do you think we're like this? Because you were, you were raised this way like a cattle. You were raised this way. And you're like, what you mean? You trying me? And I am not trying you. What I'm saying was we normally, it was like, you better do that. I'm going to beat your ass up, boy. Like, better bring your ass over before I... So it was almost like, if you don't do it, I'm going to punish you. 
So we would wait till we were threatened to be punished to even act. Even like, man, I'm not, I, I know I need to clean the room, but I ain't going to clean my room to my mama, uh, to my mama say she going to throw a, 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 a shoe across my head. You know, I ain't even going to do it. So subconsciously, when you grow up, you don't even know you're doing this. So subconsciously, you grow up and now you start to being the, the, that authoritarian figure in your life, the parental figure. And what you start to do is you don't act unless you punish yourself. And the punishment also doesn't even help you act anymore because you're doing it so much. Here's what I mean. Instead of kindly fueling yourself, inspiring you or coaching yourself to do acts and putting structures around Instead of putting a rubric to get to action, we normally put a stick to hit ourselves up. It's like this. We're not telling you, you're not telling yourself which steps to take and guiding yourself. You're, take, you're telling yourself what steps you didn't take and beating yourself. My goal out of this podcast is for you to say, hey, I'm going to spend less time beating myself up and taking the steps I need to. I don't need to specify what it is. All it is, is letting go. So let, let's go into different areas of your life that you may feel like, man, I don't have control of that right now. Finances. Let's say right now you're like, yo, my finances situation ain't where I want it to be. I should be making more money. You know, I, should, I might have a different income source. I need to build my business. I need to grow this business a little bit more. Um, I could be getting more customers. I can, great. Listen, I want you to know that a desire to improve is a good thing. Now, I'm this is personal to me because this has been a major desire in myself where I've realized like, yo, I have a man, I don't want to grow my business more. Rising Prime, I'm trying to get that to 50 members like by the end of this year. Right? I'm like, yo, that book, I'm getting it out there. I'm like, yo, that show, I need to work on that. I'm like, my YouTube channel, I'm blowing that up. We have goals. That's a good thing, bro. That's a good thing, sis. You having goals. I ain't nothing wrong with that. This is great. What is the pressing matter, a goal that you had that you want to accomplish for the rest of the year? Yo, you, we need that. But we're not going to do that out of punishment. We're going to do that out of strategy. The strategy is, okay, imagine if today was January 1st. And you set yourself some new year resolution. Can you, by the very act of saying that today's January 1st, can you start to act on those new things you said you were going to do starting today? And can you start from a clean state, forgetting that you, ha you have you been had them in mind to do? And if you intensively, let's say you actually put, put them down and you put out a time for you to do them and you minimize the distractions, would you get those things done? Here's what I mean. If you know a real a day can transform your business and you're like, you know what? I want to showcase four benefits of doing this practice, four benefits of coming to me, four ways I can help you look good, four ways I can help you feel better, four ways I can help you eat more tasting foods. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to make a real with that. And then after that, I'm going to have that real link back to my website so people can sign up. All you got to do is not think about, man, I haven't made a video in a month. Man, I haven't made it. No, you just go and you make that. So what I'm saying is you say, oh, I didn't even think of this before. This is the first time it ever came to my mind. The moment you can let go of a past expectation, you step to a, a current creation. Everything that you thought you should have had done by now is an expectation. Go back and listen to yesterday's podcast. Everything you think you should have already completed is an expectation. Expectations does not necessarily have to be a stick you beat yourself in the head comparing yourself to your expectation. A standard is a reset. An expectation is going back to what you said in the past or what you've set before a standard is i look in the mirror to see myself and change an expectation is i look at myself in the past and i shame myself for that so what's the difference 
an expectation in a relationship might be i expect you to do this based on the last person a standard might this is this i expect this out of myself so i'm not expecting you to do anything however if you're going to deal with me these are my standards same thing with yourself you, what you expected from you a year ago or five years ago should not be a stick you used to hit yourself in the head when you realize that you can live your standards today. So here's what I mean. Standards say, this is how I can live my life in integrity with the universal laws that help promote my life towards a good direction. Whether vitality, physical, mental, uh, emotional, spiritual, whether financial abundance, whether good relationships, Standard says there is a val there is a in I keep an integrity. I am in one with certain values that will keep me the best version of me. An expectation is I need to meet this to be valuable. A standard is I am valuable, therefore I will defend my value by acting this way. An expectation is you are most likely disappointed with an expectation. But you will feel appointed with your standards. You will feel aligned. You will feel like you have an appointment to do this because it is something you said you were going to stick by, live by. The thing you say you're going to stick by and live by, you can always reset to that. Let's say you had a standard that include a routine and you fell off the routine. You can go back to that without shame. Because where you going back to that is not because... Oh, I need, I shouldn't, no, no. It's because you know what you get for being this way. You know what you get for acting. You know what you get when you do certain activities. You know what you get when you eat the food that will best serve you. You know what you get out of it. So what I'm saying for you, to you is, if you know the quality of your life when you do certain things, why not just make a dedication to just do them rather than hit yourself up in the head for not doing them in the past? So all you got to do is make a new decision. After you forgave yourself and say, hey, I didn't do this then, but it's okay. I am choosing to do this now. And then now you're saying, hey, I'm going to live up by these standards. And this is how I'm going to choose to live my life. So after you realize, yo, because of certain things I was holding against myself, I tried to suppress those emotions with food. So now you say my standard is how I eat is very, I look at how I eat. I look at, I operate with my body clock, with the, with the, also with the clock as it relates to how nature says I should eat. Um, I don't binge eat. I eat to live and I don't live to eat. I, I treat my body a certain way by working out and exercising. I don't let anybody in my sexual energies don't let them mess that up. I, I have certain standards. Um, I choose how I use my time. Like, all of these things are stuff you can declare and decree. Declare and decree a new you after you've forgiven yourself for the carnal. Now, one of the best ways you could transform your life and forgive yourself out of forgiveness and procrastination is by detoxing. Somebody says, what does detoxing have to do? Remember, forgiveness is letting go what you're holding in. And guess what? You have a lot of shit in your mind, but trust me, you have a lot of shit in your colon, <laughs> in your intestines. So by detoxing and fasting, you can transform your life. Somebody want to know, why, what is that going to do? That's going to almost undo the decisions you made that did not serve you, like the foods that you eat. Um, the, the, those decisions cause inflammation in the body, which leads to depression. So if you can actually fast and detox, you would clear up, you would have clear up so much that you would feel more clear out of the, 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 the depression and the procrastination. So a fast can be one of the most effective. You want to know how do I fast, Ed? Well, if you go to my website, holisticlifestyletribe.com, I have a fast there. You'll be able to get into a detox. So here's what I'm saying. I'm saying... I'm not saying this is the solution to it all. I've talked, I'm talking about so many different subjects, topics. This is one aspect of it. All of these podcast episodes go in in one specific topic and I just go in and it doesn't mean that it's the only way. This is just one part of it. 
If you can start by letting go of some things that you've been holding against you, you will be able to grab onto the things you've been meaning to grab. And you'll be able to act on the things you've been meaning to act. But unless you forgive yourself, it will be very hard for you to grow. Give yourself grace. And sometimes you don't even have enough courage to do that. So get, have enough faith. Yesterday I said, faith is the substance of things not even yet seen. But because you believe it, you already created it. There is a time in your life where you won't be able to depend on your own courage. By that I mean you will feel very weak. And in that weakness, I want you to just say a prayer. Doesn't matter who you believe in. But I want to let you know that there is a divine being, God. And if you really open up your heart and your mind and your spirit and you open up your arm and you just surrender. You say, God, I am going through it. I don't know what's happening in my life. I have no control. I feel like I'm a burden to myself, to others. And I, I want to let that go so I can grow. I want to transform my life. I don't want to live like this anymore. I've been trying to change, but it seems like it's so hard for me. I need help. I need assistance. Forgive me. Help me forgive myself so I can grow. Send signs and different paths of how, like, what road I can take so I can transform my life. I pray that you are here with me, that you continue to walk the path with me. Come into my heart and transform me. And you say that prayer. I pray in Jesus' name. After my prayer, I say in Jesus' name, amen. Some people just say amen. Some people say I shay. I'm not here to tell you how to end your prayer, who to pray to. I'm just here to say, say a prayer. Because the prayer has a powerful vibrational force that will give you some more power. It's like tapping into the source when your battery has ran low. And that is a sure way of forgiveness. Because even when nobody else will forgive you, even when you won't find the, when you won't even, when you don't have the courage to forgive yourself, just know God has already forgiven you. That's my message, and I'm sticking to it. It's the holistic motivator here, you dig? Listen, listen. If y'all want to watch the replay, go to my YouTube. Go to edtalksdaily.com forward slash videos, or go to my YouTube channel, The Holistic Motivator. Even though you, you, you don't want to listen to this after, just make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Holistic Motivator. And those of you watching the podcast live on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to this channel, by the way, and like this video. You know, don't just, oh, I like what you said, bro, and leave. No, like this video, click that subscribe button, just like that. That's going to help out, right? In addition to that, go to edtalksdaily.com, subscribe to the podcast so you can listen to the audio version, right? And I won't give you any more announcements because you might be like, man, that's too much. That's too much, right? <laughs> so forgive yourself so you can grow. Remember, you have the unlimited power in you to do whatever it is that you've been wanting to do with your life. But remember, even if you don't do it all, what matters is that you're alive and that you are missing nothing because you are everything you need. Until that happens... The world forever miss your gifts, your talents, all the things you have to offer because you'll keep looking for it and you won't be sharing it. So what I say always, let your light shine, don't hide it, don't dim it. Let your light shine, don't hide it, don't dim it. Listen, don't worry about tomorrow. Focus on today. Be the best version of you today. Grow today. Learn something today. Rise in prime today. If you want to do this work that will transform your life, get you to the holistic lifestyle, holistic living, do the juice, the detox, the herbs, get this mindset that's going to transform everything. You want to join Rise and Prime Monday and Friday. This is a Zoom call, the most powerful Zoom call. This Zoom call basically starts with this, a mental health check-in. We do mental health check-in and then we do movement. That's going to release emotions that's housed in your body. We house emotional states. So all the things that's outstanding is in standing. Okay? So we got to get an inner standing 
that we have all of these emotional blockages. So by moving with the Qigong that I show you, you can release those tensions on the daily. That will give you more clarity. So what you can do now is act upon what you need to. And then now, after we've moved, we grow. So we talk about things that's gonna help you structure a holistic lifestyle. We talk about herbs, we talk about detox, we talk about fasting, exercise, nutrition. We talk about spirituality in its entirety. We don't just talk about one aspect, it's holistic. And then we have powerful affirmations. This is how you change your brain. This is a secret, that's not a secret, right? And we say these powerful affirmations will allow you to put in your mind a new way of living out your life, a new way of seeing life, because once you put out those affirmations, those frequencies, those vibrations, is going to come back as manifestation. So that is Rise and Prime. All you gotta do is go to riseandprime.co to get your ticket to a free rising routine, okay? Okay, what are you waiting for? If y'all wanna come, make sure you comment below. Say, man, I'm coming, man. You know what, Ed, I need to come Friday. I'm coming on Friday. So make sure you go to riseandprime.co, get yourself that ticket. Cut through, cut through, because I'm waiting for ya. We're gonna grow together. All right, y'all. This is my message. I'm out. Peace. Peace.